Welcome to our video on chemical kinetics, reaction rates and mechanisms. In this video, we will explore the fascinating world of chemical reactions and how they occur at different rates. We will also delve into the mechanisms that govern these reactions and the factors that affect their rates. Chemical kinetics is the study of the rates and mechanisms of chemical reactions. It is a crucial branch of chemistry that helps us understand how chemical reactions occur and how we can control them. Understanding chemical kinetics is essential for many fields, including medicine, engineering, and environmental science. In this video, we will cover the following topics. The basics of chemical reactions and reaction rates. Factors that affect reaction rates, including temperature, concentration, and catalysts. The different types of reaction mechanisms, including elementary and complex reactions. The role of reaction intermediates and transition states in chemical reactions. How to use experimental data to determine reaction rates and mechanisms. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of chemical kinetics and how it applies to real-world scenarios. Chemical reactions involve the breaking and forming of chemical bonds between atoms and molecules. These reactions can occur at different rates depending on various factors. The rate of a chemical reaction is the speed at which the reactants are converted into products. It is usually measured in terms of the change in concentration of the reactants or products over time. The rate of a reaction can be affected by several factors, including Temperature. Increasing the temperature of a reaction usually increases the rate of the reaction. This is because higher temperatures provide more energy to the reactant molecules, making them more likely to collide and react. Concentration. Increasing the concentration of the reactants usually increases the rate of the reaction. This is because higher concentrations mean that there are more reactant molecules in a given volume, making collisions more likely. Catalysts. Catalysts are substances that can speed up reaction without being consumed in the process. They work by lowering the activation energy required for the reaction to occur, making it easier for reactant molecules to collide and react. The rate of a reaction can be determined experimentally by measuring the change in concentration of the reactants or products over time. The rate can then be expressed as the rate of disappearance of the reactants or the rate of appearance of the products. In the next segment, we will explore the different types of reaction mechanisms and how they affect reaction rates. Chemical reactions can occur through different mechanisms, depending on the nature of the reactants and the conditions under which the reaction occurs. The two main types of reaction mechanisms are elementary and complex reactions. Elementary reactions are simple reactions that occur in a single step, involving the breaking and forming of chemical bonds between individual molecules or atoms. For example, the reaction between hydrogen and chlorine to form hydrogen chloride is an elementary reaction. H2O plus Cl2H2HCl. This reaction occurs in a single step, where the hydrogen and chlorine molecules collide and react to form hydrogen chloride. Complex reactions, on the other hand, involve multiple steps and intermediate species. These reactions occur through a series of elementary reactions, where the products of one step become the reactants of the next step. For example, the combustion of methane is a complex reaction. CH4 plus 2 C O plus 2 H 4 O. This reaction occurs through a series of elementary reactions, where methane reacts with oxygen to form intermediate species such as CH3 and OH, which then react with other oxygen molecules to form the final products. The rate of a complex reaction is determined by the slowest step in the reaction mechanism, known as the rate determining step. This step limits the overall rate of the reaction as the other steps occur much faster. In the next segment, we will explore the role of reaction intermediates and transition states in chemical reactions. In complex reactions, intermediate species are formed during the reaction mechanism. These species are not the reactants or products of the overall reaction, but they play a crucial role in the reaction mechanism. For example, in the combustion of methane, the intermediate species CH3 and OH are formed during the reaction mechanism. These species react with other molecules to form the final products, but they are not present in the initial reactants or final products. Transition states are another important concept in chemical kinetics. They are the highest energy points in the reaction mechanism where the reactants are in the process of forming the products. Transition states are unstable and short-lived, and they require a certain amount of energy to reach. The energy required to reach the transition state is known as the activation energy. This energy barrier must be overcome for the reaction to occur, and it is one of the factors that determines the rate of the reaction. Catalysts can lower the activation energy required for a reaction to occur making it easier for the reactants to reach the transition state and form the product. This is why catalysts can increase the rate of a reaction without being consumed in the process. In the next segment, we will explore how experimental data can be used to determine reaction rates and mechanisms. Experimental data can be used to determine the rate and mechanism of a chemical reaction. There are several methods for measuring reaction rates, including 
Spectroscopy, spectroscopic techniques can be used to measure the change in concentration of reactants or products over time. For example, UV risk spectroscopy can be used to measure the absorbance of a reaction mixture, which is proportional to the concentration of the reactants or products. Pressure measurement, some reactions involve the production or consumption of gases, which can be measured using pressure sensors. The change in pressure over time can be used to determine the rate of the reaction. Conductivity measurement, some reactions involve the production or consumption of ions, which can be measured using conductivity sensors. The change in conductivity over time can be used to determine the rate of the reaction. Once the rate of the reaction has been determined, the reaction mechanism can be inferred from the experimental data. For example, the order of the reaction with respect to each reactant can be determined from the rate equation, which relates the rate of the reaction to the concentrations of the reactants. The reaction mechanism can also be determined by comparing the experimental data to theoretical models of the reaction mechanism. Computer simulations and kinetic modeling can be used to predict the behavior of a reaction under different conditions and to test different reaction mechanisms. In conclusion, chemical kinetics is a fascinating field that helps us understand how chemical reactions occur and how we can control them. By studying reaction rates and mechanisms, we can develop new materials, drugs, and technologies that benefit society. Thank you for watching our video on chemical kinetics, reaction rates and mechanisms.